Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Doug with Doug Sells. Welcome to another thrift haul video. I've been thrifting this week. I'm going to show you if you're new to the channel, what I do about once a week is I go thrifting and then I show you, I tell you how much I spent thrifting. I tell you how much I spent per item and then I show off about 10 or 11 items uh that i think were really worth the trip like most of the stuff that i got was worth the trip but i'll, I'll show you about 10 of my favorite items not gonna waste any time let's get right to it okay so this week i spent 198 dollars and six cents today is thursday so i usually do it from like saturday to friday i don't know if i'm gonna go thrifting tomorrow i might not because i've already spent almost 200 dollars this week but i, I spent 198 dollars and six cents I got 36 items, which came out to be $5.50 per item. Pretty good. Not as good as last week. I think last week was like $3 and something per item. I was really excited about that, but like $5.50 per item. I can't really complain about that. All right, so we're going to get right into it, guys. Uh, first item I have is a plain blank pocket tee from BVD. You know, you know the you know the brand BVD. Look. So it's just a plain yellow tee. It's got the BBD tag. It's going to be hard to show you that because it's like really crinkled up. But there's the BBD tag and there's the little pocket. It's got the single stitch. It's got the single stitch right here on the sleeve. So you know it's from 95 or earlier. This, this particular t-shirt feels really soft, but I think it's going to be early 90s. I don't think I can quite categorize it in the 80s, but I am going to research it just to make sure this tag isn't from the 80s but i think this is going to be early 90s and i should get about 25 dollars uh, for this particular shirt all right next i've got two items now these items are very big so i don't know if i'll be able to get them in the camera without standing up but so i'll just tell you about them real quick so they were right beside each other uh they're nike these are called coaches jackets they're like windbreakers but they have short sleeves right they have short sleeves and they still had the tags on them, both of them and they were $3.99 a piece and if you look on the back of this one it says Clemson it has a team name still has the tag on it and then this one is Nike still has a tag on it and it says Kentucky on the back so both of them have team names which makes them desirable just automatically and uh, like I said, these are coaches jackets. I did a little bit of research on them and it looks like people were selling them in the 25 to $30 range. And you know me, I'm gonna start high because they're new with tags, I might go 35, but I'm gonna try between that 30 and $35 range. They're for big boys too, man. These are uh, these are a 4X, I think uh, this is 4X. So let me see, I think. This one, this one's 3X. So 3X and 4X, these are for some big boys. So hopefully these will leave the store pretty quick. And I forgot to tell you, I was going to lead off with this, but there is one item that I'm going to show you that is potentially going to pay for the entire week's haul. Like I said, I spent $198. It's potential that one item can pay for all of it. And it's going to be the last item I'm going to show you. So uh, stay tuned for that but let's get to the next one all right this is a very interesting item check this out it is like green and black like flannel like plaid like lumber they call it lumberjack uh, you know um design this is a women's coat it's a women's coat it was in the men's section and it just has a size tag right here that says small it has one button here let's open this up and i'm going to show you the brand okay the brand is called savannah I i'm gonna have to look this up it was on the inside like the bottom i'm gonna have to look this up and see i think this is gonna be from the 90s just the way the look of the tag and everything but i'll do a little bit of research on it before i list it uh, i was doing some research on some some uh, vintage plaid lumberjack specifically green type you know pieces like this and there were some selling for seventy five hundred dollars so who knows what i'll do with this i have no idea what i'm gonna list this as but i thought it was cool 
I knew it was vintage. I had to pick it up for five dollars. All right, now here's a brand. I'm just showing you this brand. This is not a big money thing, but you can see it from here. It's called Vintage Silk, and of course, it's not vintage, but it is a silk shirt. It is a uh, clothing line that specify, you know, specializes in uh, silk, like Hawaiian style shirts. And when I was doing some research in my bed one night, when I was flipping through looking for the solds in men's clothing on eBay, I kept seeing vintage silk show up. So here we go, we got a, we got a silk shirt. It's kind of hard, it's got some designs on it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's got some designs on it that are really faint. But yeah, I saw these were selling anywhere from the 25 to $30 range. And so I saw one at the thrift store yesterday, so I went ahead and picked it up. And uh, we'll see how it does. I'll let you guys know, but remember that brand, Vintage Silk. Do some research on it and see if you see the same thing that I did because I was seeing some going for $25, $30. All right, next is the Vintage Wrangler Pearl Snap Short Sleeve Button Up. So here you go. It's Western style, has the pearl snaps as you can see right there. And there is the vintage, well, if I can get it, 90s Wranglers tag right there. So there you go. That's 2XL for a big man is what it says. These vintage Wranglers usually sell for anywhere from 25 to 35. And they sell for even more money, like the crazier the design. This is a pretty basic design, but it was only $3.99. And I knew I could probably get it out of the store for about 30 bucks. So I went ahead and picked it up. Okay, here is another uh, silk blend shirt. It's uh, silk and polyester, I believe. It's silk and cotton. So silk and cotton. It is a Nautica brand. I'm not sure if this is vintage or not, but it is like a Hawaiian style shirt or like a, like a beach style shirt. And it had a bunch of fish on it and fishing poles. It's got trout on it. To me, that's what I like to call subject matter. And people love stuff like this. So be on the lookout, any kind of crazy designs like this, you know, pick them up. It, it really doesn't matter the brand. And uh, I could probably sell this for 25 to $30, hopefully, hopefully 25 to $30. That's what I'm aiming for anyway. But uh, hopefully you'll see this in a sales update one day. All right, I've got a story about this shirt. So this is a, uh, it's a vintage UNLV Running Rebels basketball shirt and it says best in the nation. So if I did my research right, they won the national championship in basketball in like 1991. And I was looking at some cheap auctions on eBay and I saw this one was for 99 cents plus shipping. And so I did some research on the UNLV Running Rebels national championship t-shirts. Even though this doesn't say national championship, it's from that same era, probably from that same year. And so I did some research and they were going for good money. I even saw a couple in the $75 to $100 range. And so I knew I could make some money on this shirt if I could get it for about 15 bucks. I ended up winning the auction for like $11.45. That's with shipping. And so I just got it today actually, it came in the mail today. So I paid $11 and like 45 cents for the shirt. And we're gonna try to sell it in the $39.99 range or higher. So I'll let you guys know if sourcing on eBay is working for me. Okay, found this shirt today, pretty cool shirt. It's an Elton John and Billy Joel face-to-face -to -face tour 2009 t-shirt. Now, usually like the 2009 and stuff like that, it's, it's kind of kind of newer, so they don't really sell for that much. But I was looking this one up and some were going for the 45, 50, even $60 range for this particular t-shirt. And so I found this one today. My haul was like $30 today at the thrift store that I went to. So this one shirt for that haul uh, could potentially pay for my entire day today. So that's a pretty good find. I love concert tees. They're always good. I always pick them up. All right, the next two items I'm gonna show you are like my big money items. And uh, the second one I'm gonna show you will potentially pay for everything that I spent this week. And I hope it does. Cause right now I'm paying out of pocket for my business. Like sales are so slow right now. I'm paying out of pocket, so let's get to it. All right, the first item I'm gonna show you, it is a 100% silk shirt. It is Nat Nast. Have you ever heard of Nat Nast? Can you see the tag there? This is a vintage Nat Nast t-shirt, I mean, uh, silk button up from the 90s. It's the short sleeve, kind of Hawaiian style, beach style, 
very loose fitting silk shirt. Uh, the particularly uh, special thing about this one is if we turn it around, you'll see right there it says uh, Long Key Fishing Club. It's got a, a fish, looks like a swordfish like jumping out of the water. It says 1925 on it. This is considered, let's see, where does it say it? This is considered a special edition. It's, I thought it said somewhere on here, special edition. I could be wrong. Uh, but this particular shirt, I'm probably going to be able to get about $75 for it. Hopefully. Anywhere in the $60 to $75 range. So uh, look out for this brand, Nat Nast. Even the newer ones go for the go in the $40 range. So make sure uh, you look out for Nat Nast. All right, and last but not least, I was in the women's section. Yes, the women's section. Guys, don't be afraid to go in the women's section. They misplaced t-shirts and all kind of stuff all the time in the women's section. So just go through it and you'll find some stuff every now and then. But this particular jersey, it is a Nashville Predators jersey. And the player on the back, he is retired. His name is, uh, oh gosh, what was his name? Pekka. P-E-K-K-A. -K -K Pekka Ryan. I think that's, I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's how you say his name, Ryan, Rennie, or whatever. Anyway, this is an authentic, original Reebok jersey, and I did some research on this, and the highest one that I saw sold had a, a tag on it, I mean a price value of $299.99, and it sold, but the person took a best offer. I don't know how much that best offer was because they don't tell you that in the solds when you look at it. But this, they had it listed for $299.99 and sold it on a best offer. And that's why I say this particular jersey could potentially, potentially pay my entire $198 haul this week. We're going to try to get it. That's all I know. We're going to try to get that much for it. That would be awesome if we did. But it's a very cool jersey. It's an absolute perfect condition and I had to get it. I only paid $4.99 for this. So that would be an awesome flip if it works out. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed uh, a few items from a haul this week. Like I said, $198, almost $200, but uh, I did get 36 items. So there's plenty to sell. And even if the jersey doesn't go for the whole 200, um, I got a feeling I can at least get 125 to 150 for it. And then you add in the Nat Nash shirt, and then you've got, you know, your $198 right there. Potentially. You know how the reselling goes, but potentially. <laughs> and then the rest of it's all profit. So that's why you gotta that's why you gotta go all over the thrift store, man. Go into the women's section and everything. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Please comment. I'd like to hear what you think about these items. Tell me what you've been finding these days. Tell me what's selling for you. Tell me what's working for you. And if you're new, please subscribe and come back for more. We're going to do this on a weekly basis. 